Hey there guys, it's Dan with Straight Up Tech and today I'm going to do a little bit of a how-to on setting up an old computer and repurposing it maybe for your kid or um, for somebody else and today I'm bringing in a guest of mine, Tech Junior here. Tech Junior is going to help me here getting the computer ready and getting everything installed and then we're going to have a little uh, fun and play a little game. Yeah, is that fun? Say hi to everybody. No, no. Who do you have here? Minions. Minions. Your favorite little characters, right? All right, guys, we've got the boot drive ready here on our handy little USB stick, and we'll get right into uh, getting. Edubuntu installed or Edubuntu, Edubuntu, whatever you want to call it. So we'll get a, go ahead and get this installed and jump right on into this. All right, bud, I'm going to set you over here. You want to plug this in for me? So pull this down. I'll help you a little bit. Okay. Plug it into the USB port. Yep. Turn it over. There you go. Now push the power button. And now hit the F12 key. Hold on. Okay, push it a couple times. Push it once more. Okay. There we go. We're going to push down here, Tech Junior. All right. And we're going to go to select the USB drive, hit enter, and then come down to install ED Ubuntu. Screen's a little flickery, I'm sure you can see here, but we're starting to move on into the ED Ubuntu installation. All right, so we can come in, select our English. Click continue. And we're going to select continue again. And we are going to Here it asks you, Edu Ubuntu ships normally with the Unity um, user interface, but uh, you can also select the Genome or the LTSP, which is the Linux Terminal Server Project. Either one of those are a much lighter weight uh, user interface, so you can use those if you maybe have an older machine that doesn't have as much power. This thing should be able to handle it. And um, you can also select which educational packs as part of this. Since um, Tech Junior here is in preschool, so we're going to take off some of the other uh, applications and just stick with the preschool package. You can always come back and install those later if you need them or uninstall some of the preschool ones and install some of the more advanced ones. So here you get to select whether you want to erase the entire disk, you want to delete everything. So um, we're going to say go ahead and do that. Um, also make sure you check to use the LVM which you can take snapshots and you can resize partitions a little easier. Here we're going to select our drive. I've got two drives in here, so I'm going to select the one for the boot drive and the other drive we'll use for storage and backups. Here it's a little warning to remind you it's going to overwrite everything. 
Here you can select your time zone, so you can go through that. Then uh, we will type in our uh, information here of who we are. We're not going to require password for little guy's computer here. And there you have it. So this goes through and continues to install everything. If you look through a lot of this, it's got information around uh, different educational packs and things for your kids. So really find it um, very useful, uh, probably one of the better uh, Linux educational distributions out there that you can get. There are several others, but I really like the Ubuntu uh, operating system in general to uh, use. It's very, very stable and everything else. And it works on almost any sized hardware, even older hardware. This is an older Dell Vostro 200, only 2 gigs of RAM, a Core 2 Duo, 2.5 gigahertz. So it should build a hold up quite a bit. If we run into any issues, I could always upgrade the RAM a little bit or put in an SSD and speed it up quite a bit. So just for um, this little guy's computer, I really don't think uh, he's going to tax it too much, so it should be just fine. But here, if you look on some of the information, we can see this is ages 3 through 18, so this is really a good all-around operating system for your children to use. A lot of parental controls as well you can put within these, so no worries about um, what sites they might get into. Alright guys, so looks like we're ready here. We've got the restart screen ready to go. Looks like everything's installed. If you can't see the screen here, it says installation is complete. You're ready to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, looks like we're booted on in. We first get the sh keyboard shortcuts here. There's a list of different shortcuts you can use inside of Edubuntu. Edubuntu really is just the normal Ubuntu Unity desktop. There's really nothing extra special other than the different educational packages that get installed automatically. So we normally, you know, in Ubuntu, you have your software center and a lot of the other things such as LibreOffice, Firefox, and, um, you know, all those sort of things. So... Really, this is not, um, you know, too out of the ordinarily different than um, your standard Ubuntu installations. This is, this works for, I mean, this has activities, as you can see, from children age two and up. So quite a bit of different activities. It has 141 different activities. So we can do things like reading, puzzles, math, fun, experimental, discoveries for color, sound, and memory, or uh, learning the keyboard and mouse even then. Other games like chess, connect four, and some of those types of things. So if we get into some of the reading, we can teach lowercase letters, uppercase letters. Alright here guys, so Tech Junior is going to play a little bit on this and see how easy it is. So grab the mouse there bud.
So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching my son use this and hope you enjoyed watching this as a how-to because really wanted to show you guys maybe your old desktop computer for uh, reuse like this, whether you wanted to give this to your uh, littler children or a little bit older children. It's very versatile as well. You could obviously put a different operating system on, whether that's Windows or anything else, and repurpose an older computer for, for you know, continued life. So, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out a little bit more about the operating system down in the description below. I'll put some links to where you can get the Edubuntu and a few others that I recommend as well. So... Don't forget to hit the like button if you like it, hit the dislike button if you don't, and also subscribe, please. It really helps me out, and it also, more importantly, helps you stay in touch with all of the new content I've got coming up. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next video.